adaptations how animals survive hi friends good morning to you all like the plant kingdom the animal kingdom is very vast and diverse like plants animals are also found all over the world they are found in the hottest deserts under deep oceans in deep forest and polar ice caps to live in different regions of the earth they adapt themselves accordingly come let's see the adaptations in the animals which help them to survive tell me a variety of animals giraffe camel fish birds penguin polar bear house fly ant and many more the environment in which an animal lives is called its habitat as we all know all the areas are not comfort zones so the animals have some special features that makes them live comfortably this is called adaptations the animals that are not able to adapt become extinct types of animals there are lot of animals to study them they are divided into two main groups animals without backbone animals with backbone animals without backbone can anybody tell me some examples of this group ant cockroach house fly and mosquito good small animals like insects worms scorpions snails etc do not have backbone how many legs does an ant have six legs yes insects have six legs and their body is divided into head thorax and abdomen some have wings to fly animals with backbone they are more advanced group of animals they are further divided into smaller groups like fishes amphibians reptiles birds and mammals every group has unique adaptations fish can you breathe in water no ma'am okay can a fish live outside water no ma'am the fish has certain special features that helps it to live in water they have gills to breathe the oxygen from water enters into its body through the gills the fins and tail help it to swim and balance in water easily for example mackerel shark dolphin tuna whale amphibians tell me an example of the animal that lives both in water and on land frog and toad good these types of animals are called amphibians they have lungs they also have legs and the feet are webbed that helps it to swim reptiles can anyone give me an example of a crawling animal and snake the animals that crawl on the land are called reptiles some have legs also most of these animals breathe through their moist skin here are some examples snake crocodile lizard alligator etc their body temperature depends on the surrounding if it is low their temperature is low if it is high their temperature is high so they are called cold blooded animals birds you all see a variety of birds all around us still there are thousands of birds that exist on the earth birds have a unique ability to fly for this their body has been adapted naturally their special features are they have a light body the bones are very light in weight and are hollow they have only two legs and two wings the body is covered with feathers strong beaks to pick up break or tear their food 
tail to balance during flight. Some very common birds are crow, sparrow, eagle, pigeons, robins, kite, vulture, hen and duck. Some birds like ostrich, kiwi and penguins are big and heavy and cannot fly. They are called flightless birds. Mammals what are mammals? Animals that give birth to babies and feed them with milk are called mammals. Correct. Mammals have organs to feed their young ones. Their body is covered by hair. They have four limbs and breathe through their lungs. Their body temperature remains same and does not depend on their surroundings. They are called warm-blooded animals. Some common examples are horse, cow, dog, cat, etc. Where animals live. The animals can also be grouped based on the places where they live. The different groups are terrestrial, aquatic, amphibian, arboreal and aerial animals. Terrestrial animals. The animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Some examples are lion, tiger, bear, elephant, cat, horse, etc. They have physical features that support their life on land. They have strong limbs to walk and work. They breathe through lungs. The animals living in polar regions and mountains where it is cold have thick fur on their body. For example, yak and polar bears. Polar bears have non-slip soles to grip on ice. In winter season, there is scarcity of food. So animals like frog, snake, bears, etc. go to long sleep to survive the season. This is called hibernation. During hibernation, they use their body fat for the body activities. Animals living in freezing condition like penguin and seal have a thick layer of fat under their skin called blubber to keep them warm. Group of penguins huddle up together to keep themselves warm. In the penguins, the upper limbs are like flaps that help it to swim in water also. Deserts are very very hot places and receive very little rain. The vegetation is scarce. Some animals living in desert region go to long sleep in the summer season to save water. This is called estivation. Let's see some of the adaptation of animals living in deserts. They have little hair on their body. They have special organs in their body to store the food and water like the hump in the camels. With this, they can survive for a long time without food and water. In the camel, we can see many features that make it the ship of the desert. It has padded feet to walk easily on hot sand, thick eyelashes to protect the eyes from sandy storm, nostrils that can be closed and opened at will, thick tongue that help it to eat thorny plants in the desert regions. Aquatic animals What are aquatic animals? Animals that live in water like fishes, turtle, crabs, octopus, lobster are aquatic. Most of them have gills as their breathing organs. Some exceptions are whales and dolphins that have lungs. They come up to the surface of the water to breathe air. They have fins or paddles to swim and balance. Amphibian what are amphibians? Animals like frog, salamander and toad that live both on water and land are amphibians. Very good. Tell me their special features. They have strong hind limbs to jump and move. Some have webbed feet and tail to swim. They can also breathe through their skin when they are in water. Aerial animals. Aerial animals are animals that spend most of their time in the air. Birds and bats are aerial animals. 
The special features are light weight, hollow bones, wings, tail and feathers on their body. Some birds living in the cold regions fly very far away to warmer regions in the winter season as the food becomes a scarcity. They move in large groups. They return to their places when summer comes there. This they do every year for their survival. This is called migration and such birds are called migratory birds. In India, during summer, thousands of birds come from faraway cold countries like Siberia. Arboreal animals Some animals spend most of their time on trees. For example, monkeys, squirrels, kola bear. They have strong hands and legs to climb on trees. They have strong claws to cling tightly on the branches. Monkey uses its long and muscular tail to hold the branches while swinging. What animals eat? Animals eat a variety of food available in their environment. Animals eat plants or other animals. They can also be grouped according to their food habits. Herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, scavengers and parasites. Herbivores Plant-eating animals are called herbivores. They have sharp front teeth and strong, flat, grinding teeth. They can digest the cellulose present in the plants. Example, horse, cow, sheep, camel, elephant, etc. Carnivores Animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivores. For this, they have very strong, sharp and long teeth that help in tearing and cutting. They have strong legs to run fast to hunt and sharp claws to catch their prey. Examples are lion, tiger and leopard. Lizards have long and sticky tongue to catch their hunt. Snakes have very big mouth and stomach. They swallow their whole prey. Some animals like jackal, hyena, don't hunt but eat the leftover of other animals. Omnivores Some animals can eat both plants and animals. Example, man, bear, crow, etc. These are called omnivores. Scavengers Some animals that eat flesh of other animals do not have the ability to hunt. They eat the flesh of dead animals. For example, vultures, hawk, hyena. They are called natural scavengers and help to keep the environment clean. Vultures and hawks have big, strong and curved beaks to tear the flesh. Parasites some small and very small animals depend on other living organisms for their food. They are called the parasites. For example, mosquitoes, fleas, louse, tapeworm, roundworm and hookworm etc. They may live on or inside the host organisms and get food by sucking their blood.